Hey guys, Gitagro here. Uh, welcome to the part two of uh, Truth Tutorial for by Twenty One Pilots. All right, so um, I hope I hope you uh, enjoyed part one. I hope that helped you a lot, build a foundation to because uh, when in order to play something like this, um, it helps a lot to uh, know and be used uh, to the chords of the song uh, before you start playing around with them and doing stuff like. <laughs> You know, stuff like that. Okay, so um, now like in the first one, the there's also a link in the description of this video. And that is for a tab sheet that I made, and uh, it's uh, on my Google Drive. Uh, so uh, if you click that link, open it up, let's get started. Alright? Okay, so now like in the... Um, in the chord one, it is G for, for two bars of four four counts. So it would be one, two, three, four, two of that. So it's in that rhythm. And the way I tabbed it in this specific sheet um, is different than the way I played it in my, uh, my Truce cover video, my instrumental one. Um, now, um, for any of you who may not have noticed, I added a low G to my tenor. And um, I really like the way it sounds and feels and the things you're able to do with it. Now, if you don't have a low G, um, that's fine. You know, at the intro, you can still do, you can do what I did in my, my truth video. Um, or you can do with the tab if you have a low G. I mean, either way, if you have a high G, you can still do this. And, um, you know, it's not like it's, uh, it'll sound bad. And so, but, um... So it's an intro like this, and you're finger picking, and perhaps maybe I should have um, put the, uh, the which fingers I use, but um, it's these three that I use. Well, I use all four of these to finger pick. So. That's it for the G, and you just you're just finger picking a G, arpeggiating it. Or breaking it up, okay. And so once you do that, you strum the G twice, and you use your four. I use my fourth finger to hit the third fret on the first string. So it's, and then I, the way I play the E minor diminished. Um, or the, sorry, E flat diminished, not E minor diminished, the E flat diminished, I play, I bar it on the, on the uh, second through, f uh, for, no, yeah, second through fourth string, I bar it, and I use my second finger to make that diminished, E flat diminished, and the reason I do that is because once, if you see on the tab, you hit the second fret, on the first uh, string, after strumming that twice, and I might as well, I just figured it just might as well just bar the whole thing once I do that. So I bar the E flat diminished, and then I bar the entire, all of four strings, and I just pluck that one string. It's just easier to do that for me. And so you can, uh, whichever way is easier for you to do, you can do the, you can hold it like this, and then just just move your finger whichever way is easier for you for me it's easier to do it this way and then you go up to the 10th fret you go 9 7 so it's so it's like that so and then 5th to the 2nd fret now it is kind of a stretch but I prefer to you go from my fourth finger to my second finger on the second fret. Because straight from there, I'm gonna go to a G chord. And um, it's kinda hard to go to a G chord if your finger is stuck on, if your first finger is stuck on the second fret of the first string. Okay, so it's like. strum that G a second time at the end of that, you go to the 
the second fret on the second string. Like that. So, so that whole part is. And then it goes into. That hammer on, you don't have to do it. I prefer to do it. I just like the way it sounds. It's just me. <laughs> and so now that part is uh, it's the E minor, kind of, except it's not the traditional E minor. You can do the traditional E minor if you like, with with holding the uh, holding the G right there. Well, that's not a G note, but you know the fourth string on the fourth fret. find it easier just to play the E minor like that. Either way, it's still an E minor, technically. And so, so it's strum. I use my first finger to pluck. So it's. So, pluck, pluck hammer on, strum. Fifth fret with my fourth finger, and then strum open. And then strum open. And it's a C six chord, but you're gonna pluck this note after the C six chord on the third fret of the second string. So it's. And then a C six again, and you're gonna. It's kind of like a broken up G chord. So that's the second fret of the third string. Second fret of the first string, and then you just strum the chord like that. So it's okay. So that's the verse, and um, I guess the pre-chorus or the part where there's no real lyrics. It's just. Try um, singing the song, um, well, or at least trying. You know, I don't know if you're a singer or not. But if you are a singer, sing along with the song, and um, you know, with the notes that you're playing. So it's. Now the night is coming to an end. It helps in, with your timing and everything, you know, or listen to the song and pluck those notes, you know, along with the melody. Alright, okay, so now the chorus is a D major, and you're just strumming strings four through two, and then you pluck the first string twice open. So it's stay alive. Then the C chord for the stay alive again. Except after you strum the C chord, I use my fourth finger right there. And then I use my third finger to get the third fret of the second string. And that's the open second string. Second finger on the first fret. Oh, so what? Second finger. Uh, on the second fret of the first string. Okay. And then you strum the G chord. Alright, so it's. Stay alive, stay alive for me. Now, this little part. You have to exercise strumming control with your thumb. So it's. And I use my first finger to hold the first string and mute it. That way I can strum it like that. So it's... Uh, where was I? Let me get to it. So... Stay alive for me. So that part, it's... Um, well, it shows you the chord. It shows you on the tab. Okay, so first finger, second fret of the third string. 
third finger, sec third fret of the second string, and the fourth finger, third fret of the first. And you basically strum that chord. And so it's and then you pluck the first string on the second fret. So you I use my fourth finger to hold that. And I have my second finger right behind it, still holding that note. So when I release. And so when I do that part after after this. And I hold my first finger on the first fret to mute it, and then I pluck it after I strum strings three, I don't know, two through four. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with numbers today, so it's. the part one of this and you should have those chords down it's the G to the D to the E minor back to D C major to C minor to G all right and then the second time you do that chorus um, instead of uh, going stay it um, now the second time you play the chorus instead of um, you can you can continue doing the and keep that that rhythm going if you like or you can do the pause that they do you know or that Tyler Joseph does or it's stay alive stay alive for me change anything in the uh, in the way you play it in this tab you can play this on a ukulele with a high G um, maybe the only thing that would sound different is the intro that's it and so yeah I hope you uh, enjoyed this and um, you got more videos like this tutorials like this um, for every tutorial that I'm gonna do I think it's easier if I just make a chord sheet for you guys and a tab um, that way you know you have it right in front of you and so you can pause the video when you get to the parts that you know you need to practice a little bit and then you play along or you listen to the song and play along with the chord sheet that you can keep on your computer for yourself or print out for yourself you know and so all right so <laughs> that's it and so i'll see you next video all right i'll be doing more 21 pilot covers um i want to do some 21 pilot covers on piano and um also, I well maybe one on guitar. I mean, 
but um, you don't see that many guitar um, 21 Pilot covers anymore. Most people like to do it on the uke, and uh, I think that's cool. I love the uke. Uh, I play my ukulele more than I do my guitar, and um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, alrighty, well, like and subscribe. Favorite this video, share it, share my videos. Please, share my videos. I need more subscribers. And uh, I would really like to um, do this as maybe a little job on the side somewhere. But um, yeah, all right. Well, thanks for watching. You guys take care. See you next time.